everyone in this lecture today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between in silico in vitro ex vivo and in vivo experiments okay so first what are in silico experiments in silico experiments are the experiments that are performed using computers or computer programs that are called in silico experiments and the next point is what are in vitro experiments in vitro experiments are performed outside of living organism in culture system that kind of experiments are called in vitro experiments ex vivo is 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 you as you see here the term x is outside of a living body these experiments are performed outside of a living body and uh, like an in vitro experiment but there is a small this difference about which i'll talk to you in the later slides and finally in vivo experiments these experiments actually are the experiments that are performed inside the whole living organism okay so these are this is the these are this these are the meanings of these different uh, Latin terms right so now what is in silico experiments in more detail in silico literally it means in silicon which means in the computer okay so these kind of experiments are performed carried out in a computer environment okay either using computer program or computer simulation that kind of study are called or that kind of experiments are called in silico experiments the experiments uh, performed using the computer okay are called in silico experiments okay so now moving to the next slides what is in vitro experiments then in vitro experiments translates uh, from the latin is in the glass okay so in the glass in vitro means in the glass so basically in this method experiments are performed on a biological matter that can be cells or tissues outside of a living organism outside of a living organism the reference to glass is quite literal so in vitro experiments were his historically conducted in a pet pet petri dish okay so basically these in vitro experiments are conducted outside of a living organism they are performed in a biological matter that can be cells or tissues usually in a culture environment okay so we culture the cells okay so usually in the culture environment we can use petri dishes or different kind of well plates so you know, the, the the cells will be cultured or the tissues will be cultured here and the experiments are performed in case of in vitro experiments so in vitro experiments is outside the body of a living organism right so uh, what what are the different kinds of experiments that that come under in vitro experiments for example cells derived from multicellular organism for example cell culture or the tissue culture subcellular components for example mitochondria ribosomes cellular or subcellular ex extracts for example uh, this uh, reticulocyte extracts and purified molecules in the test tube optional proteins dna or rna either individually or in combination so these all experiments they come under in vitro class so basically in vitro class we perform uh, experiments in a culture environment okay so most important point to remember is the culture environment okay culture environment and these are performed in either, either petri dish or well players or test tubes or whatever you call it okay so this is the meaning of in vitro experiments so another important latin term that i want to discuss here is in vivo so in vivo it literally means within the living organisms right so the, in these experiments are performed in in vivo experiments are performed using a whole living organism you must remember that this is whole living organism as opposed to partial or dead organism or an in vitro experiment so we are not using partial or dead organism we are using whole living organism in in vivo experiments okay so basically what kind of experiments are in vivo experiments animal testing and clinical trials okay are two forms of in vivo research so basically clinical trials are carried out in human that's uh, the uh, that therefore they are in vivo experiments and also animal testing or preclinical trials are performed in animals that they are also in vivo experiments so basically in, in vivo testing is employed over in vitro why because it uh, we get the better idea of overall effects of an experiment of a drug molecule so that's why in vivo experiment is considered better than in vitro experiments right so as you can see here an example has been shown shown where mice has been injected so basically with with the drugs so basically these kind of experiments are called in vivo experiments 
and so last but not the least ex vivo experiments this is really really important guys uh, ex vivo experiments are also performed the outside the body of a living organism but in vivo uh, in vitro experiments are also performed out outside the body of living organism so what will be the difference that i will discuss here so basically ex vivo which literally means out of the living so that means that which takes place outside of a uh, li living organism so basically in science ex vivo it refers to the experiments that are performed in the cells or tissues in an artificial environment outside the organism with the minimum alteration of natural conditions okay so we perform experiments in tissues or cells outside the living organism so with minimum alteration of natural conditions so basically how then ex, ex vivo is different from in vitro which is performed uh, in that because here in ex vivo experiments we do not culture tissues or cells okay we do not culture tissues or cells these two terms are not synonymous okay so this is really important guys in ex vivo experiments we do not culture tissues or cells okay so basically what we do in ex vivo procedures we often take living cells or tissues from an organism and culture in a laboratory apparatus but we do not culture means that we do not culture for no longer than of 24 hours so basically we take the cells we have a living organism let's say mouse from the mouse we take the cells okay we take cells and we have to finish our experiments on these cells within you know, 24 hour so basically these kind of experiments are called ex vivo experiments and we will not alter uh, the natural conditions okay we will try to keep the natural conditions of, of the cells as close as possible in in vivo cases okay so the main this is the difference okay ex vivo is also performed outside living organism but here we take the cells from living organism or the tissues from living organism and we perform our experiments maximum up to 24 hours okay and then if we analyze the results of so that kind of experiments will be called ex vivo experiments but if our experiment takes more than 24 hours then that is often considered in vivo experiment i hope guys this video was helpful Thank you very much for your kind attention.